My name is Chris Hancock. Um, I'm running the Microwave uh, Medical Research Group um, set up in Bangor um, in 2009 to develop novel um, medical um, related I ideas um, based on microwave millimeter wave engineering. Um, it was really born out of the um, development in the communications industry, the new devices and technology that can be used for exciting and exciting medical research applications. Um, my background um, came from um, instrumentation development in Bangor University. I did my PhD um, in 19, finished in 1996, joined a medical device company and subsequently set up my own company in 2002 to develop um, systems based on microwave engineering for treating various types of cancers. We developed a system for treating breast cancer um, which is now successfully in a pilot clinical phase. Um, and um, there are obviously other opportunities um, which are more research oriented and this is why we set up the the group here in Bangor to try and explore and develop some of those new ideas and hopefully um, make a, um, a group that that's, um, sort of captures sort of engineering and also medical clinical applications and the drive is to produce devices or systems that have um, clinical utility to help sort of people in cancer in um, other areas of, of medical um, medical related areas. This is a small development lab we set up within the group. Um, it's got various pieces of um, microwave tested measurement equipment. Um, we've got a spectrum analyzer that goes up to 20 gigahertz, um, frequency sources, power meters, um, which actually enable us to um, develop the sources, the microwave sources, to deliver energy in, into the tissue and various types of applicators. These are some examples of applicators we've developed um, in the past for, um, this is for skin treatment to deliver energy um, to very low depths of penetration into the skin um, for affecting um, um, subdermal. Um, um, tissue. This is a um, one of the main pieces of test and measurement equipment used for um, setting up the, um, the actual antennas used to treat various types of tumours um, within the human body. This is a structure that was developed for actually for treating breast cancer and basically the, um, the tip of the antenna it measures the, um, the property of the tissue, it measures its dielectric properties um, which is displayed on this um, network analyzer. Um, so once we identify, it's used to identify the characteristics of the tumor, it can then actually be used to deliver um, focused um, controlled microwave energy into the tumor to um, ablate, called, um, basically heat the, the tissue up to, to cause proteins um, to denature in the tissue and that de destroy the cancerous cells. Um, this um, system has been used successfully for um, um, treating um, initial stage breast cancer and we're hoping to carry on in developing other devices, similar devices for, um, for, for tumours, um, also much higher frequency um, systems that rather than using um, thermal effects, focused heat, actually using non-thermal sort of millimetre wave um, energy for um, looking at um, cells, cell reduction, which again is very interesting in cancer, cancer treatment to um, uh, reduce the rate of growth of tumours and also cell um, proliferation, which is interesting in terms of sort of stem cell type work. We're actually um, rejuvenating cells. Um, there's a lot of interest in this area and we'd like to take that, um, that forward. I think it's a very exciting area um, to be involved with. My name's uh, Kenneth Robbins. Uh, I'm a PhD student in the medical microwave systems and uh, I'm investigating the species that are generated via an argon plasma, a non-thermal plasma. I come from chemistry ba background and uh, my supervisor's from an electronic engineering background, so it's joining the two together. The system consists of an um, an RF generator which generates uh, an RF pulse to um, ignite the plasma 
and then there's a microwave generator um, which then sustains the plasma uh, for a, a determined length of time. And it's a pulse plasma so that it stays non-thermal and non-thermal means that the temperature doesn't go above room, uh, room temperature, the ambient temperature. Um, whereas uh, a, no a plasma is normally associated with high temperatures. The purpose of this um, plasma is to sterilise uh, bacteria on, on skin. Um, so we're looking at the effects of the plasma on the bacteria and on the skin cells too. In day-to-day -day life, it's generally it's going to be used in hospitals for um, before operations, sterilising your hands.